this is the book that we're all talking about, Tony's book, that you can find everywhere, Amazon, at your local bookstores, everywhere. And um, you're not just contributing to your own health and your family's health, but you're also contributing to, you know, what will be a billion people that are going to be fed. Uh, there's a small part about me, but what I what I love reading about really was you were educating me on, on areas that I didn't know about. I was before you got on, I was I was saying that this is my living and I, I should know all this stuff, but I was educated by the book. There are boundaries that you you're pushing in medicine and back it up by the world's best scientists who are revealing what they know, but it hasn't reached the public yet. The other thing um I want everyone to know, and you talk about in the in the book. Uh, Tony, is that we now understand that aging happens at all stages of life, not just at the end. Yes. And what we do even early in life, even as, as children, impacts mm -hmm. our health late in life. And we now have the ability to measure that. The mm -hmm. idea that you would go rarely to your doctor and wait till you get sick to see one is craziness. Now we can measure things. We can put on heart monitors. We can take blood tests. We can take swabs of mouth. We can mm -hmm. spit on things. And it's democratized. We can all have access yeah. to these tests. They're not, they're getting cheaper. And we can take our wellness partially into our own hands and work with our doctors and test ourselves daily if we want and, and detect yeah. disease and prevent it before it actually happens. And, yes. you know, we used to wait till cancer happened. We used to wait till we had a heart attack. In the future, and really in the very near future, we, those things just won't happen. We'll know when they're about to happen. Well, look what we have now. You know, what's in your yeah. pocket right now is more powerful than what took us to the moon and back and it's getting cheaper and cheaper. So I want people to know, if you just take care of yourself, things are getting yeah. becoming more available, and you'd be surprised. Some of these things don't cost a lot, but they, boy, they have a giant impact. I was gonna say, there's so many things too that people like, they've been conditioned to believe, and you know, I, I really feel for doctors. I mean, this book is filled with the stories of some of the greatest doctors alive, but um, their, their drive was to go beyond standard of care. Mm -hmm. And so much has become standard of care. And standard of care doesn't take into effect the uniqueness of each person. It doesn't, mm -hmm. in effect, the latest breakthroughs. It doesn't really take into effect precision medicine. I'm overjoyed that we can share with people these tools that, like, as David said, they're there. But, you know, it takes, I, I read a study that was done by uh, the Washington Medical Association that said it takes 17 years from the time a breakthrough happens to actually shows up in clinical practice. But there are doctors that are on the cutting edge that know this stuff right now. And if you know who they are, you can start to make changes most people would think are impossible. Well, it's very kind, but I really think yours is the most important part of the book. I'm not saying that because you're online. I think you know my respect for you. The breakthroughs you're creating. If, if we would have said five years ago, 10 years ago, you could actually reverse aging, people would be, you'd be a laughing stock in science. Your genome, your DNA is not your destiny. Right? We all know it's the epigenome today, although still people think that, oh, this is what my genome says, so that's what I'm going to be. It's not true. And the epigenome for people as a metaphor is think of like a piano. The keys are the genome or your genes of DNA. The piano player is the epigenome. That's what's going to determine the music of your life, what they turn on or turn off in the genes in your body. So, you know, the great thing about technology, as we all know, every 18 months it doubles in power and halves in costs. Well, AI is now, as we all know, changing everything. And its impact on medicine is going to be, I think, some of the greatest impact of all.
some of these practices don't just cost less and less money, they actually save you money. 